Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Marciano Stadium, home of your Brockton Boxers. Tonight, they take on the Lady Cougars of Notre Dame Academy and a big game against Ursuline. Brockton winning that one 8-1. to one. Narita Montrand and Jen Caruso both with hat tricks in that game. But Notre Dame should be a tough matchup for the Boxers. They were the Division II state champs last season. And Jen Crusoe playing with an ailment, we'll call it, in her right wrist area. She's wearing a cast. She wore it last game and scored a hat trick, so it didn't affect her too much. As many texts there, gets it up to Jen Crusoe. Crusoe has it now. Gets it back to Maria Del Pico. Del Pico up to Ariana Silvia. Elizabeth Buckley clears it long. And Notre Dame comes away with it. Good step by Sylvia to get it over to Narita Montrand. Montrand having the big game against Ursuline Academy last game. I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports this fine Thursday evening. This game was originally supposed to take place last night, but weather got in the way and they postponed it until tonight. Sylvia heads it at midfield. Kicks it long looking to spring near to Montrand. It will not connect and Notre Dame is forced to kick it out of bounds. Be a boxer thrown just inside midfield. Header straight out of bounds off of Notre Dame, and Brockton will try again from a few yards deep. <laughs> Sylvia fighting for the ball. It goes out of bounds off of Notre Dame, and Brockton has another throw in about five yards deeper into Cougar territory. Del Pico heads it looking for Montron. Montron makes a really nice move and she finds some room in the corner. She gets it up to Sylvia. Sylvia turns and she's still got it. She tries to get Montron in the corner. Montron being double teamed. And it goes out of bounds off of Brockton, so it'll be a Notre Dame throw and Notre Dame escaping there. Brockton thrown from the 22-yard line. Montron makes a nice move to get it to Caruso, and it goes out of bounds off of a Cougar defender. Brockton will have a throw in from very deep in Notre Dame territory. Montron gets it over to Sylvia. The cross! Caruso is in the back of the net. A couple of boxers trying to find a way to that ball. An excellent cross by Ariana Sylvia. And it just doesn't connect on the other end. Brockton coming just that close to making it a 1-0 game. Elizabeth Buckley is going to clear it for Brockton. Very deep throw by number eight for Notre Dame. That is Gabby Solari.
Notre Dame throw goes straight to the head of Buckley and out of bounds. Good short passing by Notre Dame. That ball goes out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick for Brockton. Brockton goal kick five minutes into the first half. Still scoreless. Brockton boxers against the Notre Dame Academy Cougars from Marciano Stadium. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. Cross attempt from Notre Dame goes to the foot of Maria Del Pico. She clears it out. Now Ariana Silvia gets it up to Jen Crusoe. Crusoe tries to spin and she kicks it long looking for Narita Montron. Doesn't connect, but Montron comes up with the bounce. Ariana Silvia now over to Montron. Montron makes a good move to get it to Del Pico. Del Pico up to Yasmini Texera. Back to Texera. And Notre Dame. Just with too much pressure, but Yasmini Texera makes a good step and takes it right back. And Notre Dame comes away with it. Good passing by the Brockton Boxers lead to an opportunity as Ariana Almeida makes a good step and steals that ball. It goes all the way down to goaltender Tori Viola, who kicks it to about the 40-yard line. Caruso takes a spill, and it'll be... A push against Brockton. Brockton free kick at the 20 yard line. Still scoreless from Marciano Stadium. Brockton throwing right in front of their own bench. <coughs> it's been a good season so far from the girls soccer team. Seniors Nerita Montrand and Jen Crusoe scoring a majority of the goals for the boxers in interim head coach Edmir De Silva's first year. So that ball goes out of bounds off of Del Pico. That will be a corner kick for Notre Dame. So Notre Dame's first opportunity of the game with 31 and a half minutes left. Number 20 puts it inbounds. And just too many boxer bodies in front able to clear that one out. But the cross... And we're going to have a penalty called on Notre Dame. Brockton escaping right there. Maria Del Pico gets it up to Silva. Number 12 for Notre Dame makes a good move, but a good step by Elizabeth Buckley. Back and forth action just inside. Boxer territory. The boys soccer team coming back into boxer country, and they're screaming from their bus, ole, ole, ole. So I think that means they won. Now it's a foot race. And Notre Dame has a breakaway. The shot, excellent initial save by Tori Viola, and the ball goes wide, and it's going to be kicked out of bounds by Buckley. Excellent save by Tori Viola, keeping this game scoreless. It'll 
will be a Notre Dame throw in. Very deep inside Brockton territory. That's going to go out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick. So Notre Dame with a couple of quick opportunities. But pretty much back and forth action here from Marciano Stadium. Brockton having a couple of very good opportunities. And now number 16 checking into the game for Brockton. That is Mackenzie O'Reilly. And she replaces number 20, Tiana Brooks, who had a goal last game against Ursuline. Almeida kicks it deep, looking to Spring Caruso. Yasmini Texera makes a good heel kick, and O'Reilly gets it up, looking for Montra, and it's not going to connect. Del Pico makes a good step. She's got it. She gets it over to Montron. Montron can't control it. Now, one timer from O'Reilly is going to go wide. Brockton really doing a good job of trying to set up the short passing game. And then once they get further up, trying to spring their star players, Caruso and Montrand. <coughs> Texera races over to get that on the near sideline. And her pass to Sylvia just doesn't connect. Sylvia makes a good tackle to, to come away with that ball. Crusoe gets it back to Texera. Texera over to Sylvia. Sylvia to Montrand. Now Silva tries to pick it up. And Notre Dame able to clear it out momentarily. Aaron Almeida puts it right back into Notre Dame territory. Brockton really putting on some offensive pressure. Liz Buckley tries to clear it out and yes Mini Texera racing all the way back from my field able to clear that one out and it'll be a corner kick for the Cougars their second of the game Del Pico able to clear that one out. Narita Montrand has it now for Brockton. Montrand up to Silva. Del Pico taken down, no whistle. Sylvia has it. And it's taken away by Notre Dame. Now Notre Dame with an op opportunity here. The cross to number 11, that is Keely McAfee, and it's broken up by Yasmini Texera. And Texera able to clear it out of bounds. Good defense by Brockton, but a couple of really strong opportunities for Notre Dame. 26 minutes left in the first half, still scoreless, in a very good action-packed game from Marciano Stadium. McAfee has it for Notre Dame. It goes out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick. <laughs> Tiana Brooks heading back into the game, and she will replace Zany Silva. Brooks will take the goal kick. Very short kick. And Notre Dame comes up with it. McAfee for Notre Dame. The one-time shot goes off of her own player. And Brockton able to clear it out. Ken Caruso racing all the way back from upfield. Trying to take some pressure off of Brockton's defenders. Number 12 has it Sam Morley for Notre Dame. And it's kicked out of bounds. Good. Off of Brockton. Ball, 
Notre Dame applying a lot of pressure on Brockton right now. Number eight for Notre Dame, Gabby Solari will take the throw, and she throws it very, very deep into Brockton territory. Elizabeth Buckley will chase it down. And it'll be a Brockton goal kick with just under 25 minutes remaining. Tiana Brooks to take it for Brockton. This kick a little bit longer, but still relatively short, only about 30 yards. Montron spins it over to Ariana Sylvia. Sylvia looking to spring Jen Caruso. It is broken up by Notre Dame. Now McAfee gets it. Her pass broken up. Lots of back and forth action here from Marciano Stadium. Notre Dame getting ready to make a couple of substitutions. Texera chases that one down all the way from across the field. Her pass for Del Pico doesn't connect. And it goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Buckley will chase it down for Brockton. Shielding, it'll go out of bounds, will be goal kick. <coughs> That's going to be ruled. Handball against Notre Dame, so Brockton will have a free kick. Ariana Almeida will take it. Sylvia has it for Brockton. She looks for O'Reilly, doesn't connect. Texera makes a good step. And it's going to go out of bounds off of Notre Dame. Texera's throw goes straight to the foot of a Notre Dame Cougar. Good step by Sylvia. Now Narita Montron on the far sideline. Sylvia comes away with it and she's got some room. She gets it over to Del Pico. Del Pico just can't get rid of it in time and Buckley heads it back up to Sylvia. Hannah Brooks kicks it long, looking for Caruso. And Caruso has it. Good defense by Notre Dame to break up that opportunity for Jen Caruso. It goes out of bounds off of Brockton. Halfway through this first half, still scoreless in a very good game played both ways between the Notre Dame Cougars and the Brockton Boxers. Bad Dog Matt Nelson brings you all the action for Brockton Community Access as Jen Caruso makes an excellent move to keep that ball in bounds. Up and down the field they go. Sylvia gets it to Del Pico. Del Pico back to Sylvia. Broken up by Notre Dame, and they go the other way. 
Keanu Brooks with the breakup on Brockton end. Now Sylvia gets it up to O'Reilly. O'Reilly with some room. It goes to Caruso. Caruso for Montrand. Montrand spins, looks for O'Reilly, doesn't connect. And it's cleared back to midfield by Notre Dame. Yasmini Texera has it for Brockton. Notre Dame the other way. It's a foot race now. Tiana Brooks is going to charge out of her box and she clears it out of bounds right in front of the Brockton bench. Good, strong, confident move by freshman goaltender Tori Viola. Number 20 will make her way into the game. Sarah Rawson for Notre Dame. Cross broken up by Texera, and it'll be a corner kick for Notre Dame, the third of the game, and an opportunity here for the Cougars. Timeout called by Notre Dame. 18 minutes, 19 seconds remaining in the first half. Notre Dame with a corner kick and an opportunity to score here against Brockton. The game's still scoreless. 0-0. Zero to zero. Equal opportunities both ways thus far in this game. Notre Dame having a lot of the momentum in the last couple of minutes. But Brockton having a very strong defense and an excellent goaltender to keep this game scoreless. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Marciano Stadium this fine Thursday evening. I want to take this opportunity to thank our cameraman for tonight's festivities, Mike the Postman Simmons. As we bring you all the action from this Lady Boxers soccer matchup from Marciano Stadium. Corner kick for the Cougars. A little bit far, and the header goes wide, so it'll be a goal kick for Brockton. Brooks to take it for the Boxers. She kicks it a little bit longer off the head of Del Pico. Texera racing to get that, and it'll be taken by Mackenzie O'Reilly. And we're going to have a whistle. And a free kick for Notre Dame. Deep in boxer territory. This is number 20, Sarah Rawson, to take it. Her kick. Excellent save by Tori Viola jumping to save that ball from going in. Almeida kicks it long looking for Caruso. Doesn't connect. Del Pico gets it now to Caruso who makes a good heel turn to Narita Montrand. Notre Dame comes away with it. Almeida gives it away, and now Notre Dame with an opportunity. It's a partial break for Notre Dame. The shot, and a score for Notre Dame. 
Notre Dame draws first blood on the breakaway. And we'll try to see who that was. Keely McAfee on the goal for Notre Dame, number 11, the senior midfielder. So Notre Dame taking a one to nothing lead a little bit more than halfway through this first half. Del Pico has it for Brockton. She gets it over to Texera. Texera back to Del Pico, broken up by Notre Dame. Mackenzie O'Reilly tries to chase it down for Brockton. It goes out of bounds off of O'Reilly. Another deep throw off the foot of Tiana Brooks and it's straight out of bounds. <laughs> now Tiana heads it out of bounds and will do it the same way about 20 yards up. Notre Dame's going to be called for an illegal push, and Brockton will have a free kick deep in their own territory. I'll meet it to take the free kick. She kicks it long for Maria Del Pico. Buckley gets it up to Montrand. Montrand for Sylvia. It's going to be a Brockton throw in. Tiana Brooks for Brockton. She gives it away to Notre Dame, and now Notre Dame with an opportunity. They've got two runners and good defense by Elizabeth Buckley to break that one up. Michaela Robinson entering the game for Ariana Almeida. Dame leading the Brockton Boxers by a score of one to nothing. About 12 and a half minutes left in the first half. Notre Dame threatening. Sylvia has it for Brockton. She gets it up to Caruso. Caruso up to Montrand. Montrand looking for O'Reilly if she can catch it. And it's going to be a Notre Dame throw it. Montrond heads it looking for Caruso. And it'll be a Brockton throw it. Takes here to throw it in looking for Caruso.
Keanu Brooks puts that out of bounds for Brockton. Notre Dame will make a substitution. Number 16 entering the game now. That is Sarah Blackington. Takes here in the corner for Brockton. Out of bounds off of Notre Dame. It'll be a Brockton throw-in. Montrond up to Del Pico. Del Pico looking for Caruso. That's a handball. Missed call by the officials there as Brockton might come away with a good opportunity anyway. It's picked up by goaltender Maggie Elliott for Notre Dame. Buckley to chase it down. She gets it up to Ariana Sylvia. Come on, man. Catherine Coyne entering the game for Dota Dame. Montron to Sylvia, back to Montron, doesn't connect. A little bit too hard on the pass. And it'll be a Brockton throw in. <coughs> Dame throwing from deep in their own territory. About nine minutes left here in the first half. Notre Dame leading one to nothing over the Brockton Boxers. Takes here to O'Reilly. Be a Brockton thrown right in front of the Notre Dame bench. Caruso has it for Brockton. She gets back to Buckley. Buckley clears it, looking for Montron. Doesn't connect. Now Notre Dame has it. Good breakup by Tiana Brooks. Notre Dame has it an opportunity, but Tori Viola will come charging on Renette and clear that to midfield. And a bunch of substitutions coming in for Notre Dame, as well as number 11, Jamari Johnson for Brockton. Montron back to Sylvia. Sylvia. Pass broken up and Elizabeth Buckley will let Tori Viola pick it up. Sylvia take it down and that'll be a free kick for Brockton at just about midfield. Texera to throw it in front of the Cougars bench. She gets it to Crusoe, back to Texera. Texera spins, gets it back to Tiana Brooks. Brooks long for Montrond. Montrond back to Sylvia, looking for Caruso. 
Gets back to Montrand. Now over to Crusoe. Crusoe back to Sylvia, who clears it into the box, and another Dame player is down. Jamari Johnson almost having an opportunity there. Del Pico has it for Brockton. Now Sylvia. Sylvia up to Texera. Texera over to Montrand. Montrand to Sylvia. Keanu Brooks back to Sylvia. Brockton applying pressure as of late. Elizabeth Buckley to chase this one down for Brockton. Now number 17, Laura Andrade for Brockton. And it'll be a free kick for Notre Dame. About five minutes left in the first half. One to nothing. Notre Dame over Brockton. <coughs> Sarah Rawson checks back into the game for the Cougars. She replaces number 10. And that is Cameron Rawson. Buckley chases it down for Brockton. Our kick for Montrand. Montrand over to Sylvia. Sylvia looking for Crusoe. It's not going to connect. Montrand to Sylvia. Over to Texera. And Notre Dame has it. Good step by Montrand. Kick for the Cougars. It'll be out of bounds. Off of Brockton, it'll be another Cougars corner kick. Notre Dame with an opportunity here. With just about three and a half minutes left in the first half. Good header by Ariana Sylvia to clear that out of the box. Now a shot off the outside of the goal. Notre Dame coming within a couple of feet of making this a two to nothing game. Kicks it long for Sylvia. Sylvia up to Montron. Montron to Del Pico. Del Pico for Lara Andrade. Andrade can't keep it in bounds, so it'll be a Notre Dame throwing. Two minutes left in unofficial time. Official time is kept on the field by the officials. Jen Crusoe for Nuda Montron. Back to Crusoe. 
Crusoe trying to create some space, and she's tripped up. That should be a whistle, and it is. Jen Crusoe, a little bit slow to get up. It will be a free kick for Broughton at the 25-yard line. Jen Crusoe trying to create space was tripped up, and she gets up very gingerly. Looks like it's the right leg causing her the issue, but she walks it off, and she will kick it for Brockton. Her kick, just a little bit wide. And the whistle blows to end the first half. So your score at the end of the first half, as Jen Crusoe limps to the sideline, is one to nothing in favor of the Notre Dame Cougars over the Brockton Boxes. An action-packed first half. And Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, welcome back to the second half of action between the Notre Dame Cougars and your Brockton Boxers. I am Mad Dog Mendelson, bringing you all the action, and there's been a lot of it tonight. Notre Dame leading one to nothing to open the second half, off of a goal by Keely McAfee. But that's not for lack of opportunities for Brockton. Jen Caruso, a little bit shaken up at the end of the first half. She looks to be fine as she is jumping up and down at midfield, trying to stay warm. It's cooled off quite a bit here at Marciano Stadium. <coughs> Tori Viola will kick it long for the boxers. The boxers. Megan Mulholland tripped up, but she gets it to Del Pico. Del Pico to Sylvia. Sylvia to Montrand. Trying to find Mackenzie O'Reilly. One-timer from Sylvia goes up off the crossbar. And the ball technically was out of bounds, but goaltender Maggie Elliott didn't realize it. She dove for it anyway. Excellent opportunity for Brockton right off the bat to start this second half. an opportunity. The cross is going to be broken up by Elizabeth Buckley into the corner. <coughs> Ariana Sylvia breaks up the Notre Dame Maria. passing attempt. Now Narita Montrand running full steam ahead, trying to keep that in bounds. She gets it up to Caruso. Caruso with an excellent heel turn. Now Mulholland to Sylvia. Out of bounds off of Brockton.
That should be out of bounds off of Notre Dame. It is Laron down to throw it in for Brockton. And an opportunity for Notre Dame is going to be picked up by Tori Viola. Action-packed week for these Lady Boxers coming off an 8-1 to one win against Ursuline Academy. Dan Crusoe held up a bit. No whistle. Mina Texera on the far side. It'll be a Brockton throw in. About five minutes into the second half, one to nothing, the Notre Dame Cougars lead over the Brockton Boxers. Uh, the Keeley McAfee goal. throwing. Jen Crusoe for Brockton gets it over to Montron and the pass just a little bit too strong. And just a missed kick goes out of bounds in front of the Brockton bench. Lara Andrade to throw it in for Brockton. Montron trying to turn a corner unsuccessful and Notre Dame able to clear it to midfield before it goes out of bounds. Montron with a little bit of room. She gets it to Crusoe, back to Montron. Montron with a one-timer. And Narita Montron evens the game for Brockton. A one-timer from about 20 yards in front of the Notre Dame net, and Dorito Montron puts it home. One-to-one -one your score. Montron to Caruso, back to Montron. And we have an even game. That is Montron's fourth goal in two games. She's having herself a heck of a week. Elizabeth Buckley over to Andrade. Andrade kicks it out of bounds. Mulholland looking for Montrand. Montrand to Sylvia. Sylvia up for Crusoe and the pass is broken up, but it goes out of bounds, so it'll be a Brockton throw right in front of their own bench. Seven minutes and 15 seconds into this second half. One to one your score. The equalizer scored by Dorita Montrand. Keanu Brooks trying to chase it down for Brockton. She gets it out of bounds. It'll be a Notre Dame throw in deep in Brockton territory. Number 24 to take it, that is Parker Di Natale. Notre Dame with an opportunity. They've got it right out in front if they can turn with it. And Brockton able to clear it out. That was Mackenzie O'Reilly. And now Del Pico puts it out of bounds. Yeah. 
Crockton able to clear it out of bounds once again. One time shot and it's gonna go just wide. Tiana Brooks to take the goal kick for Brockton. Very low, short, bouncing kick for Tiana Brooks. And she's forced to clear it out of bounds. It'll be a quarter kick for Notre Dame about 10 minutes into the second half. Corner kick goes all the way across the crease. And the shot broken up by Ariana Sylvia, who finds herself in a foot race for the ball. That shot is going to be picked up by Tori Viola, and she will slow things down a bit. It's going to go out of bounds just inside midfield for Brockton. Come on, Megan Holland tripped up. And it'll be a Brockton free kick. Rita Montron to take the kick for Brockton. She kicks it long and run right up the middle. Megan Mulholland has it now for Brockton. Now Montron and Montron's uh, fancy stepping is broken up. Tiana Brooks puts that out of bounds for Brockton. Tiana Brooks puts that right out of bounds again. That ball is going to be chased down by Tori Viola. O'Reilly looking to spring Caruso and just a little bit too far. It's picked up by Maggie Elliott. Holland back to Andrade. Ooh. Off the face of Mulholland and out of bounds, but she looks to be fine.
Elizabeth Buckley up for Megan Mulholland. Back to Lara Andrade. Battle along the far side of the run. It'll be a Brockton throw-in. About 15 minutes into the second half. Still tied one-to-one -one your score. Notre Dame, Cougars, and Brockton boxers. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from Marciano Stadium. Caruso looking for Lara Andrade. Andrade looking for Mulholland. And Notre Dame comes away with a throw in. Lara Andrade's throwing goes to the feet of Irina Montrad. Del Pico taken down, no whistle. No whistle on the clear push. The referee was standing right in front of it. The latest no call in a series of questionable refereeing experiences here at Marciano Stadium. Ariana Almeida finds her way back into the game, replacing... Lara Andrade. Almeida to throw. Good step by Del Pico. Now Megan Mulholland up to Montron. Montron, the goal scorer for Brockton, loses possession and it goes to Notre Dame, who clears it back to Ariane Almeida. Now Jen Caruso looking to get something going in the box. Mulholland the cross. It's loose out in front and Notre Dame able to clear it out. But Texera will try to get something set up offensively for Brockton. Sylvia comes away with it after making a nice move on the Notre Dame midfield. Now Montron trying to chase it down for Brockton. And that should be a corner kick for Brockton. Their first, second of the game. Montron to take the kick for Brockton. Montron's kick right into the hands of Maggie Elliott, and she makes a good save. It'll be out of bounds off of Notre, uh, off of Brockton, rather Notre Dame throwing number ten to take it, Cameron Rawson.
Corey Viola dives to on top of that one before Notre Dame's forward can make anything of it. Del Pico for Brockton. Sylvia clears it off of the hand of the Notre Dame forward. Now Almeida looking for Caruso, doesn't connect. Del Pico is down and she's slow to get up. Finally the whistles blow to stop play. Maria Del Pico is down and they're calling for the trainer. She ran into a Notre Dame defender and took a hard spill. So we've got an injury timeout with just over 20 minutes left in the second half. One to one your score, Notre Dame Cougars and Brockton Boxers. Narita Montrons and Keeley McAfee, the goal scorers. And Maria Del Pico, who's played this entire game, is down at about the 33 yard line. I want to once again thank our cameraman for tonight's festivities, Mike the Postman Simmons, bringing you all the action from the video end of things for tonight. And I am Mad Dog Matt Nelson, bringing you all the other action from Marciano Stadium tonight. Del Pico gets up and walks off under her own power, so maybe just got a little bit winded. Looks like Laura Andrade is going to take Del Pico's spot. Sylvia has it. Her shot is going to go well wide. And out of bounds, it'll be a goal kick for Notre Dame. There's a whistle on Jen Caruso. with an opportunity up front, but it's cleared out by Laura Andrade. O'Reilly looking for Montron. Montron for Caruso, doesn't connect. Buckley clears it out for Brockton. It'll be a Notre Dame throw deep in Boxer's territory. Get it out of the Omega. 
Megan Mulholland tries to get it out. All right, Sylvia with the header. No, one-time shot. Off the hands of Tori Viola and into the back of the net. Number 18 for Notre Dame, Colby Berrigan, the sophomore forward on the second goal of night for Notre Dame Academy. So Brockton finds himself down by a goal with 17.45 left. Now Notre Dame with another opportunity. This is number 24 and a good slide tackle by Elizabeth Buckley. Then she's gonna get whistled. It'll be a free kick inside the box for Notre Dame. And the boys soccer team has Quite a few words to say to the officials for that call. So a penalty kick coming for the Notre Dame Cougars fresh off a goal. Tori Viola gets ready to attempt to make a save. And here we go. The shot and another goal for Notre Dame. I believe that was number nine for the Cougars, Alyssa Dukeshire. And Notre Dame with two goals in a period of about 30 seconds. So Notre Dame now up by a score of three to one with 16 minutes and 30 seconds left. Brockton flailing now and they need to get it together. Jen Caruso with it for Brockton. She gets it up to Megan Mulholland. Megan Mahal taken down from behind, and there's a late whistle. So it'll be a free kick for Brockton. Deep inside Notre Dame territory, Ariane Almeida to take the kick for Brockton. And we have a time roll called by head coach Edmund De Silva for Brockton. So Notre Dame with a couple of quick goals by Colby Berrigan and Alyssa Dukeshire. They find themselves up by a score of three to one with about 16 minutes left. Brockton with an opportunity with a free kick within 10 yards, but from a weird angle, almost a quarter kick, but a little bit further out. And it looks like Ariana Albina will take the kick as soon as we return to action. Very cold night here at Marciano Stadium. And we'll be right back here tomorrow night for Brockton versus BC High football. We hope it's a little bit warmer, but always a good football game. And they are having a ceremony to honor somebody at halftime, right before the halftime show kicks off. I'm a little bit biased towards the halftime show. It is Beatles themed and they are my favorite band of all time. Ever. Ever. So Montrond will take the kick for Brockton. Narita Montrond looking to net her second of the night. The cross to Sylvia, it's loose. And the diving attempt by Jen Caruso just wide. And it'll be a goal kick for the Cougars. Brockton almost coming away with a goal there.
whistle blows, it'll be a push on Notre Dame and another opportunity for Brockton, a free kick at about the 35 yard line. He'll meet it to kick it. She gets it long and it goes wide of the dead. It'll be a goal kick for Notre Dame. Back and forth action. Notre Dame coming away with a couple of late goals, but Brockton with a couple of opportunities. This is cleared out of bounds by Brockton. Three to one in your score, just under 15 minutes remaining. Notre Dame Cougars on top of the Brockton Boxers. And with another opportunity here, number 24 streaking in alone, Parker DiNatel. Her shot into the hands of Tori Viola. Good save by Viola. Now Jen Caruso with an opportunity. Her shot is an excellent save by Maggie Elliott. And Notre Dame clears it out. Up and down the field they go. Buckley taken down and there'll be a whistle on Notre Dame. Both sides calling it the other way. And it's ruled a Notre Dame free kick at midfield. Dina Tell streaking in. She's going to try to get possession. The shot by Dina Tell, and it goes well wide and out of bounds on the other side. Brock had thrown. Thirteen minutes remaining here in the second half. Notre Dame leading Brockton by a score of three to one. <laughs> Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. Uh, number five for Notre Dame. Dara Qualter finds her way into the game. Shot by number 20, and it's cleared out by Ariana Sylvia. Notre Dame with another excellent opportunity, almost putting it home. Number 20 to throw it in, that is Sarah Rawson. The shot, and it's picked up by Tori Viola. Brockton really has to get their heads together defensively. 
Montron to Sylvia. Sylvia up to Mackenzie O'Reilly. Broken up, but it goes to Lara Andrade. Andrade all the way up looking for Caruso. And it's going to be cleared out of bounds by Notre Dame. And Caruso fighting for the ball in the corner. It's going to go out of bounds. It should be a throw in for Brockton. Andrade to take the throw. She tries to find Montron, doesn't connect, but Ariana Almeida has it. Almeida with some room in the corner. Her crossing attempt is going to go off of number 21. It'll be a quarter kick for Brockton. Brockton's going to capitalize right here with about 10 and a half minutes left. Narita Montrand to take the third corner kick of the night for Brockton. Montrand kicks it low. And she gets it right back. The shot is going to go out of bounds and it'll be another corner kick for Brockton. A throw in rather. Lara Andrade to Montrand. Montron with the cross, and it's broken up momentarily. Al Almeida takes down the Notre Dame defender in front, no whistle. And Notre Dame able to clear it out to midfield. Yasmini Texera now. Just under 10 remaining. Sylvia has it. She looks long, trying to spring Montron, not successful. And it'll be a goal kick for the Cougars. Brockton throwing from about the 15 yard line. Sylvia with a shot. It's picked up by Maggie Elliott. And Elliott has been pretty strong at that for the Cougars tonight. Brockton throwing. Jamari Johnson unable to keep it in bounds, so it'll go the other way. Eight minutes remaining, three to one. Notre Dame on top of Brockton. Elizabeth Buckley breaks it up. But now Notre Dame finds himself in a 2 on 0 situation. Number 11 with a shot, it's gonna go well wide. Brockton collapsing defensively. Goal kick for the boxers. Need to tell for Notre Dame. She's tripped up, but she has it. Her shot, and an excellent save by Tori Viola. Viola has been very strong tonight. About seven minutes remaining, Tori Viola making an excellent save. Lara Andrade. 
And it'll be out of bounds off of Notre Dame. Montron with a nice move to get it over to Ariana Silvia. She's stuffed and now Gina Tell has another opportunity. She's in a foot race against Elizabeth Buckley. Buckley makes a good move and kicks it out of bounds. Number 16 to inbound it, Sarah Blackington. Now Dina Tell is gonna be stuffed by Tori Viola who picks it up. Andrade looking for Sylvia, doesn't connect. And now number 17 has it for Notre Dame, that is Olivia Thomas. Keanu Brooks clears it out of bounds. About five minutes remaining in the second half. Notre Dame on top of Brockton, three to one. Now Dina Tell looking for another opportunity. And Viola will clear it to midfield. Andra taken down from behind, no whistle, and Dina Tell off sides. No whistle. Kenzie O'Reilly chases it down, she's pushed from behind, no whistle. Andra no, back to O'Reilly, and that ball spins out of bounds. Sylvia to Montron, back to Sylvia. Sylvia with some room to run on the sideline. She shoots it long, looking for Jen Caruso. Doesn't connect, but Yasmini Texera might have an opportunity on the other side. It's going to be kicked out of bounds by a Notre Dame defender with about four minutes to go. Jen Caruso with it on the far sideline. She crosses for Sylvia. Sylvia with a one-timer. Gonna go just high. Ariana Sylvia from with a one-timer from about the 15-yard line. Just high and a little bit wide. And Notre Dame will have a goal kick. Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action for BCA Sports. Montrod with a one-timer now, right into the open arms of Maggie Elliott. Elliott has been very strong tonight for the Cougars. Arna Sylvie comes away with it. She gets it up to Narita Montrond. Montrond, the goal scorer for Brockton tonight. She makes a nice move, and the whistle sounds. And that is the end of the game. A little bit of clock confusion on the scoreboard. Thought we had more time than we did, but the whistle sounds. And the final score for Marciano Stadium tonight, 3-1. to one. The Notre Dame Cougars come out with a win against the Brockton Boxers. And Brockton with a, a plenty of opportunities, but the goal scores, Narita Montron, the, the lone goal for Brockton. Number 18, Colby Berrigan. Number 11, Keely McAfee. And number 9, Alyssa Dukeshire on the penalty kick goal for Notre Dame. So 3-1, your final score, Notre Dame over Brockton. Tough loss for Brockton, but they will go at it again next week. And we will have that action for you on BCA Sports. 
I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and for everyone at PCA Sports, we'll see you next game.